and Kando, movie theater, storybook, and predator. Look <laughs> on Kando. Years ago, on the night, a llama and friends in the magic of became parents. However, promised they would leave the girl of trouble to work behind the build a better life for for a family. But as they braved the journey, Sakura was lost, heartbroken. A llama played for it as Maggie go. Crescent promise was captured as the lantern's candle filled with magic and blasts away the darkness. Swarms of butterflies appeared at mountain throat, and there in a new and home grief, a safe place full of wonder and courage, and in the candle, the magic gave life to the family pet. And over the years, the magical children and dress and the wearer are given special gifts. All exchanged for one a granddaughter named Mirabelle. The day Mirabelle was to focus on, Eva to open her door and discover her gift and special gift. It faded, and she was left with nothing, no magic, no special gift, nothing at all. At all. So when it was time for her cousin Mister to return to his gift, everyone was nervous. With Mister Griff's his door knock, he was filled with magic, a token named Paco, fluttering in an alleged. On our、oh、his arm, it should, and she said, "Of course, they can come." <laughs> Dozens of animals and birds appeared, certain special gifts, of course, conjuring and with emeralds. The bedroom was a rainforest. The children shouted with delight as the children made friends. Coordinated him up and took him in for a ride, raising up tree stumps and cast tall waterfalls. Mirabelle was happy for a condo, but felt a new loneliness as the magic girls posed for a photo. She quietly left. Mirabelle wanted to be around alone. Feeling like she wasn't truly a part of the family, suddenly she noticed the details. Prissy, Kaza, she asked, putting her hand to them. The house groaned as cracks appeared, muttering and stretching down the halls. Mirabel followed them into the candle and got. The light flickers and dim. She dashed back to Nana's room, which was no, no, full of animals and animals. The house is the in danger. But when she went to show extremes, cracks had risen and the candle was bright. A given and gave Mirabelle a stern look and told everyone they should return to the party later that night. Mirabelle overhead is really taken to a photo of a woman pregnant about the magic drawing. I need help, my Ella.、Uh, Ella said sadly, "Something to keep our home from breaking in the truth." And he found it to help me of find it. Help me and present our family. Help me save our mother. Mirabel knew she had to do something to help. The next morning, Mirabel had a feeling her sister Lucia knew something about was what was happening with the magic. Louisa gave the word it was strange, so she was always busy taking jobs like carrying dozens of bags for pens.
Lose yet breathing to talk. And when Mirabelle pushes her, she snaps. In an extreme of trade, she continues to share the house in fear that like she was talking on the way to the, of everything and everyone's person. Standing Mirabelle simply where Watson, her sister, in a hug. Lucia relaxed into her arms and said, You want to find the secret about the magic? Go to Bruno's tower. Find a his vision. Vision of what? Asked Mirabelle. No one knows. They never found it, said Lucia. Mirabelle thanked her sister and headed off. Nobody in the family talked about the detergent Bruno. He had felt years ago, and his door was covered in his shirt's web. Mirabelle sneaked into his entrance tower and found broken shards of the visit. When she put someone up in the shirt's together, she wasn't as shocked as to see her own image. A little later, Mirabelle heard Lucia shout, I'm lost in my gift. Lucia's magic was fading. As she ran off crying, Aria, Sturgeon's noted for her eyes at Mirabelle. Where are you with her today? Mirabelle was grateful to hear the bells ringing, calling, and singing to town. That night, Mirabelle noticed some rats turning it off the broken visitors' pieces. She followed them through a secret passageway that led them into the Bruno. She was surprised to discover he had been hiding inside the walls during the whole time. When Mirabelle asked him about the vision, but he had been in the night. He didn't get her gift, and I saw our house breaking the magic in danger. And then, and then, and then, I saw you. Even through he resisted at first, Mirabel cussing him to have another vision. Our family needs help, and you need to get out of here, he said. They needed a big open space, and we're going to happily work in his bedroom. Yeah, Bruno helped Bruno's hands, bringing her into the visions. As the visions grew dark, he wanted to end it, but Mirabelle gave his hand. A surprise of sneeze, as they searched together, Mirabelle spotted a small glow. Three over there, she said, glowing him. The light was a butterfly. They followed it as it flew toward. The image of a young woman, Tara, through meditation, exited her, and you will see the way. Mirabel was disappointed to see the person. She had to explain it was her perfect sister, Isabella, who was not a fan of Mirabel. Tara Bruno told Mirabel she was missing the dull point. The fate of the family is not up to her. It's up to you. You're the best of us. You just have to see it. Mirabel entered Isabella's magical flower room, trying her best to be nice. She to say the day. Hug out. They're different. Hug it out, said Isabella. When Mirabelle extruded Isabella of being selfish, Isabella extruded her continuing true feelings about the families for whom the word of her to be perfect. Suddenly, something strange happened. Instead of creating flowers, Isabella created a freaking cactus. As she continued talking about her feelings in a new and beauty, plants sprang from her fingertips. Mirabelle entered to give her to keep going, and the two had a blast enjoying Isabella's wonderful creations. Mirabelle smiled 
Oxy Motive and Sermon of Candles Shining Brighty. When Ernest finishes saw Isabella's play strange plants, she was furious as she laid near Belle for everything. Cracks and just the cracks started because of you, Isabella said. Mirabelle was hurt, but she still um for her so she entrance also think of the only seeming of uh, and the worst in everyone. Open your eyes. Your family is falling apart because of you, Mirabelle explained. Faster and faster. The cracks grew. They began ripping through the candle. I guess the nearly split in the half. Ernest's candle turns into a Mirabelle silver, and her family rushes to try and rescue it. But with her powers fading, they couldn't save it. The light went out, and Cassus Cassus, Mirabelle ran away. She ran and ran until she tripped and then fell by the edge of the river, staring at her reflection in water. Mirabelle felt completely lost and alone. Suddenly, she heard a quiet voice say her name. As soon as sat down beside her, she shared in being a mirror of her son and it told Mirabelle about the night she saw lost him. She confused that she but had been a hard on everyone because of fear, fear, sorry. Keeping the family safe. Finally, she turned to Mirabelle and said, You were right. You did not break our family. I did, Mirabelle. Remind of bringing the, of all she had done for her, the family. We were giving a Mirabelle because of you. I asked my friends for help, Mirabelle. He sent me you. Then Nerson wrapping her arms around her granddaughter. <gasps> as the two external butterflies appeared swirling around them, they followed Mirabel as she led the way back to the encounter. Everyone was surprised to see Mirabel and Greta. They were even more surprised to see Charm Bruno and to hear Eastern say it. Was time to talk about him. Mirabelle extended to the family here to be in the honeyest with one another and asked that they share their feelings. They worked together to direct you know, the house. When it was time, a ring and gave Mirabelle the last person up in the house to put into place. Mirabelle put a doorknob into the front door and Whoosh! Castle came back to life. Butterflies sweated through the king candle. Many cracks in the and roasted in it, it to its splendor. The magic returned stronger than before. Mirabelle smiled, proud to be part of the magical family and knowing the best magic was inside everyone. Wow! Amazing! And this is me.